Hey y'all, Sabrina here. Today I wanted to talk to you about our second and fourth grade math curriculum picks. We're going to be using Right Start Math again. And before we found this program, we had lots of tears when it came to math. So I just knew we had to find another approach. And when I was researching curriculum and came across this one and it said how many games that it had, I knew we had to try it. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, this is what we love about this program and how it's been working for us. And that's why we're going to continue using it this year. So I was really drawn to this hands-on program because of all of the games. We really like playing games. And so when I saw this, I was like, yes, it has over 300 games for learning and enjoying math. And it has truly been enjoyable. And so we are continuing to use this program in our homeschool. This book is broken down into um, chapters, eight chapters, talk, discussing number sense and money, multiplication, fractions, as some corner cards and clocks. And it um, tells you how to use this. So if you want, it tells you how to play the games in the book. And there's actually a DVD that comes with it as well. But I haven't found we really needed that. I feel like it's pretty straightforward in the explanation of the games. And if you just wanted to purchase the games to go along with the current curriculum that you're using just to reinforce concepts, I think that would be perfect. You would just get the book and the cards and then use the index to... Uh, find the game that would correlate with whatever you're studying, whether it be addition or remainders or multiplication. Um, again, whatever topic that you're covering to, to complement your lessons. And I just, there's a game log. We haven't used that. Um, the lessons, we, because we use the curriculum, it tells us what um, games we're going to be playing. And there's an introduction here, description of the games. Um, and then some considerations, and then it just jumps into the different chapters. So I really, really have enjoyed this, and I would suggest this to anyone, even if you aren't using this full program. So we are using um, their manuals and workbooks, and you see this. This is actually really thin. I feel like in our previous math um, workbooks, we've had like double or triple this for worksheets. And this is it for the entire year. And I can just show you one really quickly before I open up the teacher's manual. They're really short and to the point. They're just making sure your child, um, they do this independently, but making sure they understand the concept that was uh, just taught. And not every lesson has a worksheet to go with it, but it tells you inside. So let me open up the book, this um, lessons book and show you now. So I thought I'd zoom in for you a little bit, but when you open it up, it shows you the objectives for this level. And then it talks about the uh, materials that you would need outside of the manipulatives that come with it. Um, but they're usually things you can find around the house, like a digital clock or tape. It talks to you about how the program was developed and then it has these like general thoughts on teaching, teaching mathematics. And I really like this because coming from um, tears when doing math, I, I don't know. I really, I was so grateful for this program, but I really like this one, 23. I actually liked quite a few of them, but I'll just share 23 with you. It says, keep math time enjoyable. We store our emotional state along with what we have learned. A person who dislikes math will avoid it and a child under stress stops learning. If a lesson is too hard, stop and play a game. Try the lesson again later. And I really liked that. Definitely give these a read. And I think these are their beginning of each level. So then you have um, more about the, how, why the program is effective and then the daily lessons. And this is just a break, I'm just giving you more detail about how the lessons flow. So don't um, get overwhelmed at all of the different parts. It actually goes pretty quickly. I feel like we can get it done in about 30 minutes and less, or, or less um, unless we decide to play the game, another round of the game or so. So we really like the, um, playing the game. So sometimes it goes longer, but just because of that. 
So let me show you a lesson as I talk through the daily. Let's see, maybe you can try. I just want to show you that some of them even have songs, which is sweet. So it starts with the objective, and you are just talking about the purpose and the goals for the lesson here. And then you have your materials. And for this one, we're getting the songbook and then um, their abacus. Let's see, here is the songbook. And then they'll need their abacus. And then they'll need their math journal and worksheets, which are in here. And the math journal is just like a large grid paper here. And then they will need the math card game book. And it'll tell you what game to play. You're going to play N37. You're going to find it in the book. It will give you the directions and you play the game. And then they might want to play the game again. Uh, then you work your way through the warm-up. And the warm-up just reviews concepts previously taught. And if you're going to be moving into another concept, it introduces it here in this section. Then they'll have the worksheet, which they, um, not all uh, the lessons have worksheets, like I said, but in this one it does. So they'll do their worksheet independently and you will just move through the lesson and you'll close out uh, by reviewing what was taught. And they also have these explanations throughout, which I think is, um, is so great. So, that's it. There are 140 lessons in this um, level. I think actually all the levels, I believe, have 140 lessons. And so if you want to pause it here and look at the different um, lessons or screenshot, you can. And then here are the others. And so, like I said, there's 140 lessons. And most of us need to school for about 180, 85 days, I believe. We end up going longer usually, but because uh, we keep our days light. So we just end up doing more of them. Um, but I feel like if you need to take your time with a lesson, you can. Or if you go through them pretty quickly, you can just move on to the next level. And at the beginning of each level, there's a review. There's only about six lessons of review um, to go over previous concepts taught in the um, level before, but also if you go online, you can take their placement test. And if your child places in like level D or something, these review lessons also give you a chance to learn how to use the manipulatives. So you'll learn how to use the abacus. You'll be able to learn how to use the math balance. I think that's really, um, really important to do before you get going into the level. And after level a lesson six, you just you jump in and you get going with the level. So I'll just give a quick flip at some of the different level lessons here. You see some of the different tools that we're using here. And if you're just getting ready, you know, if you plan out your weeks or, you know, get your schoolroom ready for the week, you can just go through and look at the materials that you plan to use and pull them out. And I think it just makes it really, really easy for you. So let me give you a quick peek inside level D or E actually. So it starts the same. You have um, your objectives, objectives for this level. And then the materials that you'll need that aren't included in the math set, which are a little different, but still what you have around the house, usually tape and scissors, color pencils, uh, those thoughts again. And then your daily lessons, which are laid out the same way. Here are the concepts taught here. If you want to look at those. You have review. Review. And then your final assessment, again, I think I just said that 140 lessons here, and then your review lessons. This again has six review lessons before it jumps up. Oh, no, that one has seven. And at eight, it jumps in. So I'll give a quick peek at some of these lessons. 
And you can go online and look more at um, and read more about the program and look at all the different resources they have to offer. I'll give you a quick flip of the book that comes in the mail, um, just like you know, their magazine. In the book where they share their different materials, so I'll quickly flip through this. You see it says homeschool, classroom, and tutoring. And they have the different levels here. I believe this goes to middle school. These are all the math manip manipulatives. So if you just wanted to buy the manipulatives that you would need for each level, you can do that. Or you can just go ahead and get the whole kit. That's what we did. These are the individual items for sale. And you can check all this out on their website. I will post, um, now we're in the classroom, you can see how they're uh, breaking it down by grade and level, the levels by grade. Um, but like I was saying, I'll share a link below where you can go to their website and check it out. Full disclosure, I am an affiliate now. I've really enjoyed this program and sharing um, this with you. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me, you've seen me share um, our days using this. And so I uh, decided that I'd apply for their affiliates program and I'm excited to be approved and I'm um, linking that for you below if you want to go check it out. And these are tutoring and supplement items. So that's it guys. I am really excited to get started using this program again with the boys this year. They've really um, enjoyed it and I'm so glad to have come across it. And if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Share. I know a lot of us have started school. Some of us um, will be starting here in a few weeks, um, but maybe we're still looking for a few things. I know I am. And so if math is something that you're looking for, please um, give this a look and I will be back with more videos, guys. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.